Vincelli, and welcome back to the channel. So as I've mentioned in previous videos, the age we live in now is maybe the most advantageous for being able to recreate the rigs of our heroes and be able to kind of guess what they were thinking when they were building it. This has a downside, of course, where we just build the rig of our heroes and then never do anything or experiment ourselves, but I don't think that's that common. I think the more common thing is actually the best thing, which is it's a really wonderful learning tool. Today I'm going to show you the rig of a hero of mine that I built using my Fractal FM3. Uh, the preset, if you have one, is available for free in the description. All I ask is that you comment, like, subscribe, support the channel any way you can. I'd really appreciate it. So those of you who follow the channel for a while can probably guess, especially considering the guitar in my lap, that the hero whose rig I built is Eric Johnson. He's been a favorite of mine for a very, very long time. And those of you who've been with the channel for a while, you're probably guessing it's either Eric or Julian Lodge. Who, you know, who is it? <laughs> now, I've seen a lot of rig rundowns of Eric's setup, and they're always basically the same. You know, sometimes it's a deluxe reverb instead of twin reverb, or, you know, some minor changes, but I did my best to approximate all of those videos in this preset. I was actually a little surprised. I knew he used twins every now and again, but I was like, I don't know what his settings are, because every time I use a twin, it's always like pretty bright, especially with a more vintage style Strat. What I did find is that he has that bright switch on, but then he just rolls a lot of treble off and almost dimes the mids and bass. Also, sometimes he'll use two different kinds of speakers, which obviously, you know, gets a different sound. Now, obviously these settings can get a bit bassy with the neck pickup, but for the bridge pickup, they actually work great. <laughs> Nice and full sounding, and of course I have the tone rolled off just a hair, down to 8 from 10, uh, on the bridge pickup only. Now let me show you a little bit of positions 2 through 5. <laughs> So an EQ setting that I would have been like, there's no way that sounds good, actually sounds pretty good. Also with the clean tone, I'm using two cabinets, one a little less in the mix just to fill out the sound. Now that obviously just has reverb, but obviously we know Eric uses a lot of delay. So here's some delay on the middle pickup. <laughs> Every now and again, and by every now and again I mean quite often, he also throws in a chorus pedal. So here's that previous sound with some chorus added in the second position. Just for funsies, here's a little bit of that in the fourth position. So quite nice, quite ambient. So 
on to some dirty rhythm sounds. So I know he uses a 50 watt something, 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 <laughs> depending on his mood. Uh, and so I chose a Plexi 50 watt Marshall. <laughs> Pretty close to his rhythm sound, although I know he uses a tube screamer and a fuzz face, you know, separately obviously, uh, with this setup, with this medium gain amp. So here's that same setup with the tube screamer. <laughs> Fuzz face. Marshall with a tube driver before it and quite a bit of delay. I've ever gotten to completing his rig and it kind of opened my eyes to a few things. The one that I'm still probably most nervous about is kind of trusting your ears with the amp EQ and you know looking at a pretty wild EQ and being like yep it sounds good to me so it's right. Where I would have been like mm, I think a tweed twin is gonna be a little warmer why roll off all the treble or so much of the treble and you know almost dime the bass and mids when I could just go to a warmer amp. I don't know why he does that. Um, I couldn't tell you, but I know that he does, and interesting. Okay, it does certainly have a different sound when I would A, B it with a high-powered Tweed Twin. You know, the high-powered Tweed Twin is just a hair warmer. But, you know, again, that's me, <laughs> and this is Eric. I also ended up really liking the gain sounds, although I would probably, you know, have to switch a few things if I'm playing the Sur or the Silver Sky or what have you, because these pickups certainly don't sound the same as those. So if you have a similar rig as this, uh, these are Fender Hot Noises pickups, by the way, they're not mega hot, honestly, um, then I think this rig will suit your guitar just fine. I hope you experiment this way with your own heroes and try to recreate their rigs as much as you can with the gear that you have. Uh, just basically even just to see what they were thinking and go, do I actually like this? Does this actually fit me? Now that I sound like, you know, the person who I idolize the most, am I done or am I going, mm, now that I know how to sound like them, I want to sound like me. Obviously just tone wise, there's a million things that factor into that, but you know what I mean. Again, the preset is free for download. All I ask is that you support the channel any way you can. So thanks very much for watching and thanks for dropping by the channel where we're excited about guitar. Thank mm -hmm. you.